Assalamu alaikum dear learners yet another class of elementary science class 5 English version we are going to discuss today about a very important topic which is air and this uh, topic uh, this topic includes in class in chapter 4 okay so what is air that is the first question that should be learned first so what is air if that comes to our mind first so what we can see can we see air we cannot see air so we can feel its existence but we cannot see it so what does it mean so look as i have written air refers to the earth's surface we can feel the existence of the air but we cannot see it the second one as air is the invisible mixture of gases that surrounds the earth so we can feel its existence look air is a mixture of many gases and tiny dust particles so we know that in our atmosphere there are a lot of gases like nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen so air is is the mixture of all those gases and dust particles okay so it is the clear gas in which living things live and breathe we used to breathe dear students which gas we used to breathe in and which gas we used to breathe out we all know that okay let's have a look air we used to live we used to live by the help of oxygen right without oxygen can we survive we cannot survive without oxygen so where from we get that part very very important gas or where from we get that very important element in our life nothing but from the plants look we breathe in oxygen and plants breathe out oxygen the plants are releasing oxygen or breathing out oxygen and we used to inhale that oxygen to survive okay so this is the most important and precious use of air so air consists oxygen and by using that oxygen we used to live or we used to breathe okay so uses of air we know that we have to do lot of works by using air so when you went to the playground and you are playing with your football and suddenly you saw that there is a lack, lack of gases on your football so what you used to do you used to inflate that football so what are you putting on on that football that is nothing but gas or air okay so we used to inflate something such as footballs whenever you are riding your cycle and you found that there is a lack of gas on your uh, on the tire of your cycle so what are you doing you are inflating that tire by using the air okay and people also use different type of elements of the air in different ways have a look patients we know that in uh, hospitals when the patients are uh, uh, suffering from breathing problem the doctor used to produce them oxygens by oxygen cylinders okay and people use nitrogens we know that in the atmospheric air the amount of gas which is uh, which used to be more or which is to be the highest amount that is nitrogen and by using that nitrogen gas we used to produce a very very important fertilizer which is which is urea okay that is written here you can see that and to preserve food such as fish meat and chips in tins or in packages we use nitrogen okay so have you uh, i think you all of you used to uh, drink cold drinks like uh, as you can see here i have given a picture of a cold drink it can be uh, whatever brand it is it is a soft drinks okay so whenever you open the bottle you can see some drops you can see some gases are coming out from the lower part of the bottle to the upper part so what are those gases those gases are air like they are called as carbon dioxide so what does that uh, carbon dioxide gases uh, doing there they used to give it a phase so look carbon dioxide is used in soft drinks such as sodas to give it a fizz and very very important use whenever any accident occurs whenever in any 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 in any places whenever the fire accident used to occur the firefighters used to 
used to protect that accident by using a very important gas which is carbon dioxide that is also use of air carbon dioxide the fire extinguisher used to put carbon dioxide to to protect us from that fire okay so now we are moving forward to use of wind this is also a very important uh, part of of air or or the atmospheric wind look wind is used to me you uh, used to move big wheels look these are known as windmills so what are the use of windmills when the wind used to blow that windmills are used to rotate so what what actually is producing by rotating the windmills electricity is being produced so wind helps in the rotation of windmills to produce us or to supply us electricity which is a very important help another thing people also use wind in their daily life you can see a girl is drying his hair with his hair dryer that is also a very important use of wind okay in our daily life whenever we wash our clothes we used to put them in a ware outside in the open fields why we wanted the clothes to dry so which element of the atmosphere used to help to dry that wet cloth that is wind so in this particular page or picture we can see the different uses of wind we use wind to wet our hair i'm recalling we use we use wind to get electricity by the help of wind turbine we use uh, wind to dry our clothes so there are the most important uses as well as the a sailboat when it uh, used to sail over the rivers or oceans it also uses winds to move on okay so now we know that air is one of the most important element of the atmosphere right so we are polluting air in various ways so now we will we will be going to learn about what is air pollution and how the air is being polluted so first the definition of air pollution so air pollution is the introduction of uh, unwanted chemicals gases dust particles smoke or odor into the air so if we mix air or if we pollute air by different type of gases particles smokes or it may be bad odors that will create air pollution okay so air pollution nowadays is one of the most dangerous problem in all over the world the world is facing this problem very badly so have a look what are the causes that are actually causing the air pollution so we the human being are causing the main problems okay so here i have uh, show, show i am trying to show you that human activity is a major cause of air pollution especially in our daily life different different industries factories household chores courses we are burning fossil fuel so burning of fossil fuel it releases smokes look it releases different type of gases into the air those gases come from factories cars and landfills okay the smoke from burning woods also causes air pollution when they used to mix with the air when we used to throw our garbages our waste materials waste products of our household courses what happens that particular waste materials whenever we are not throwing them in the proper places whenever we are throwing them into different places so that particular garbages are spreading different type of bad odors which is mixing with the air and creating air pollution okay so we should be aware of this particular things so air pollution as i said a little while ago air pollution is one of the most dangerous problem now we are facing so what are the problems that we are being affected by air pollution have a look the effects effects of air pollution on human health as well as the environment on human health the air pollution is causing a very very dangerous effect have a look air pollution is harmful for human health it can cause diseases such as lung cancer respiratory diseases as well as different type of uh, uh, heart diseases also okay so air pollution is very very dangerous for human being have a look 
air pollution also has negative effect on the environment we know that not only for the animals or human being but also for the environment air pollution is causing a lot of trouble due to air pollution there are a lot of changes in the environment so what is happening due to the changes of the environment the environmental balance is being hampered due to the uh, uh, due to the hamper of the balance of the environment there are a lot of natural calamities are occurring one of them is acid rain another is global warming so have a look the smoke from burning fossil fuel includes carbon dioxide or other different type of harmful gases when those gases increases in the air they causes global warming and acid rain acid rain is caused by smokes of industries mixed with clouds due to acid rain living things can be killed okay so acid rain as acid rain contains a lot of uh, chemicals so it is mixing with the air and forming acid rain whenever it uh, uh, causes as a rain what will happen it will create so much danger for not only for the human being but also for the plants and other animals so we should be aware of it so we learn what is air pollution we learn that what are the effects of air pollution on human and the environment so what we need to do we must protect air pollution so what are the ways by which we can protect our environment or protect our world from air pollution we will be going to learn it have a look dear students how to prevent air pollution using less energy using less energy we can reduce more consumption of fossil fuel okay so we have to follow a certain rule which is nothing but three r's so what are those three r's one reduce reuse and recycle have a look for example turning off the lights and walking or riding bicycle instead of using car that will save electricity that will save energy okay we can also follow three r's like deducing of natural resources reusing and recycling to prevent pollution okay so cleaning garbages and planting trees are also good practices to keep air clean so if we want to protect our environment for being polluted what we have to do we have to plant trees more and more so that our environment can be free of pollution so the students as we are learning air pollution for this reason we have to be very very careful that we should not pollute our air pollute we should not pollute our environment we should not we should not pollute air so what we need to do what we what we have to do to protect air pollution we have to plant trees then we have to follow three years so as i have already discussed what is three years in my previous lectures i'm just recalling it for you what is what is reducing deducing means here we have to reduce the use of natural resources we have to reduce the use of fossil fuel we have to reduce the use of uh, our dependence on cars or the vehicles which used to emit different type of gases so what we will do we will use bicycle or we should walk instead of using personal cars or different type of vehicles okay now another thing that is reusing look at this recycling or reusing recycling is a different thing uh, uh, as far uh, concerned so recycle recycling different type of things can be recycled okay so recycling is a very very important issue that will lessen the amount of garbages if the amount of garbages or waste material used to reduce so it will reduce the amount of pollution so recycle is one of the important issues to to lessen the air pollution and reusing we can the the pots the, the the our daily materials that we can use if it is reusable we should use it we should not throw it by using once okay we should not waste our things so that is a very very important issue okay so by using or by following three hours we can protect air pollution okay dear students we have uh, discussed about air we have discussed about air we have discussed about wind the uses of air and wind the air pollution as well as effects of air pollution and prevention also so from this particular chapter what will be the important questions that i want to show you have a look important question for pc how do people use wind in their daily life 
how do people use air in their daily life what is air pollution what is meant by three hours as i discussed a little while ago this is a very very important question for pc lot of time it used to come in the examination right two effects of air pollution on human health right two effects of air pollution on the environment so not only this questions but also you have to read your textbook very very carefully you have to read the examples of, of on your textbook you have to uh, uh, practice the exercise question as well so that you can do well in your pc examination so dear students that's that is that was all about our today's class hope you enjoyed my class we will be back with we will be back very soon with another lecture till then take care allah faiz assalamu alaikum